flea that considered the most dangerous in the world and wiped out almost half of the world's population. We are talking about the Oriental Rat Flea, which gave the world the most perilous pandemic to date. The pandemic was more dangerous than the recent coronavirus. The pandemic, which was known as the Black Death or the Bubonic Plague. To date, only three types of plagues have appeared in the world, septicemic, pneumonic, and bubonic. In this video, we are going to talk about the bubonic plague. So let's get started. What, what is bubonic plague? The bubonic plague is caused by a bacteria called Yersinia pestis, which commonly makes rats ill. We should understand the leading cause of the spread of this disease. The bubonic plague is spread due to a bite of an infected flea. Many fleas spread this disease, but the most effective is the oriental rat flea. Let's understand with an example, there is a rat who has this bacteria and has a flea on its back, and the flea flies to you after sucking the blood of the rat and giving you a bite. Now the infected blood she sucked is injected in you by the flea, and now you are infected. But wait, I am all right. Let me tell you why, because this disease barely shows any symptoms for seven days, but around seventh day, you are getting symptoms like fever, chill and vomiting, and the most dangerous, Boo-boos developing out of swelled up lymph glands around the groin armpits, the neck, and the victim's fingers, toes, lips, and nose will eventually start pains because of the decomposition of the living skin. In contrast, the victim is still alive. Without proper medical treatment, the fatality rate is between 30 to 90 percent, and even with appropriate modern antibiotic care, the fatality rate remains around 10 percent. Where did it originate from? And what were the effects of this pandemic? This pandemic did not come just once. It shook the world thrice. First, it was named the Plague of Justine. Second, it was called the Great Dying. And third, it was named the Modern Pandemic. According to archaeological findings, the Yersinia pestis was discovered 2,800 to 5,000 years ago. However, the pandemic started in the 6th century when the Sasanian and the Eastern Roman Empire empires were both in a war. But then, a danger was triggered. The actual origin of this pandemic is not sure, but it is said that the first pandemic was somewhere in Middle Asia. From Asia, the pandemic spread along the major Western countries like Italy, Greece, etc. And this pandemic was over in the 8th century because of the Emperor Justine I, who was infected but survived this pandemic. This pandemic was named the Plague of Justinian. In this round of the pandemic, 25% of the population of the Eastern Mediterranean region died within just a few years, and millions of deaths have been recorded because of this pandemic. For the second time in 1347, the bubonic plague re-emerged on the world scene. Italy had a trading outpost at the time called Caffa, which had been besieged by the Mongols a few years previously. The plague had broken out in the Chinese province of Hubei around Wuhan, and killed 80% of the province's population. The Mongol army supply and logistics lines carried the pandemic across the Silk Road. From Kaffa, the pandemic spread all over the Mediterranean and Europe. So between 1347 and 1351, the plague killed most of the European continent. In these five years, it is estimated that as much as 60% of the population of the European continent died, but some were hit harder than others. The regions like Italy, France, and Spain recorded as much as 75% of the population died, and England recorded 70% of their population died in this pandemic. However, there are regions untouched by the plague, such as Poland, Hungary, and Belgium. It is unclear how they are untouched by the plague. After the pandemic, the record population died in the whole Eurasia was 200 million, but let me tell you, the population of the world before the pandemic was only 475 million people, which means that it's possible that around 42% of the population of the world died in these few years from a single disease. In 1855, the plague appeared in the Yunnan province of China, quickly spread across Hong Kong, and then transmitted abroad to the British colonies in India, where it wreaked immense havoc. This third bubonic plague pandemic would go on to claim the lives of 12 million more people, mostly in India and China, but it was spread everywhere in the world. After discovering the bacterium that caused the disease, rats and fleas were the primary carriers in the 18th century, 
Especially after the discovery of antibiotics, the plague finally faded, but the bubonic plague still exists today. Between 2010 and 2015, there were 3248 cases of the plague worldwide. On average, nine people are still affected by it yearly. If you want to learn about the coronavirus pandemic, please tell us in the comments. If you find this video informative, please like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.